So this problem, Jacob, thank you for listening. I appreciate it. This problem is going to be a type three. We're going to do, we're going to do, yeah, fast golf. Yeah. We're going to do fast physics. Okay. I want to get this in. I got like six minutes. Okay. So this is the problem. This is going to be, um, this is going to be 1,000 meters. Okay? That's going to be 1,000 meters. And I'm going to shoot a projectile from 1,000 meters up, not at an angle of zero like type 1, but at an angle above zero. Above, uh, above zero degrees. Let's make it easy on ourselves. Let's say it's 45 degrees. And we'll make that 1,000 meters per second. Okay, we're big on 1,000 today. Okay, so it's going to go like this. Okay, so we want to find this height, dy total. We want to find this distance, dx total, correct? This first, this first time here, we're going to call t1. So we've got to find, we've got to find, is this on the camera right here? Is that on camera? Yeah. All right, find, find for me vx and vy. Cosine 1,000, cosine or sine 45 is what? 707. 707. So it's going to be, it's going to be 707 for each, right? Now T1 is going to be what? What's T1 going to be? The time it takes to get to there. You can just should be able to look at this. 71. 71 seconds, right? 71 seconds? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. So now, <clears throat> how, how high is this? This is going to be dy. Was that dy1 or dy2 according to your map? dy2. dy2, okay. dy2, we know dy1. dy1 is 1,000 meters. DY2 is going to be 5TY squared, 5T1, right? Yes? So what is 5 times 71 squared? 5 times 71 squared. Help me out here. 5 times 71 squared. 25, what is it? 25,205. 25,000. What? 5 meters. Notice that this is not drawn to scale. Okay? It's not drawn to scale. Very important. All right, now. So, what's dy total? dy total is what? What's dy total? dy1 plus dy2. Yes, thank you. Yeah. And so what is that? It would be dy1 is that, dy2, so it would be 26,205 meters, correct? Is that right? Yes? Now, what is this, the time it takes to get right here is going to be t2. How do you find t2? The time it takes to go from here to here, won't it be the time it takes to drop 26,205 meters. Yes or no? Yes. So if we do one, I think it's all 1,000 meters. Oh, what? DY1 is 1,000. That was given. Then there's something wrong with the. All right, we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> What's the problem, Omar? So when I, when I did the equation for dx1, which is t1, uh, which is vx times t1. This is dx1. 
this, this, this distance here, right? But we're not doing that right now. What I want to find out is T2. Oh, yeah, dy1. So how do you find T2? Um, I got the answer. Isn't it T equals T2 equals root, root 26,000? 205 divided by 5. Yes. So T2 will be what? 72.4. 72.4? Alright, so 72.4. T2 equals 72.4 seconds. Is that correct? Yes. Yes? Yes? Okay. So, how do, what's dx1 going to be? Isn't it going to be the time it takes to go from here to here? And isn't that the same time that is T1? So wouldn't this be 707 VX times T1? Isn't that correct? So what is DX1 equals VX times T1, which is what? 50197, is that what you said? Yeah. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. You're sure? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so what's dx? This is dx2 here. dx times t2. Is going to be t2 times yes. 707? Yes? Yeah. Meters per second? Omar, are you with me on that? Good. So, what is 707 times 72.4? What is it? 51,186.8. 51,187. 187. Yeah. Rounded? Yeah, rounded. It's 186.8. All right, so, so we need to close this up here. We know T2, we got down there, is 72.4 seconds, right? We know Tx, Dx is going to be what? We just said it, right? Yeah. Where's Dx? Dx2 is 51,187 meters. How are we doing with that? Looks a little sloppy. Yeah, are you following me? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so what's that together? Let's write that. I have this re rewritten, so I can erase this. So we'll use that space. That plus that equals what? 101384. 101, 384. 101, 384. meters. And that's dx total. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Are we off? Are we done? Yes? Any questions? No, sir. Have a great night.